This is a massive LEGO base plate, and I'm going to have three hours to build the security breach map in LEGO. In this video, I also recreated some of the most requested locations, including Pirate's Cove and the Scooper. Let the challenge begin, starting off with the minifigure selection. There's four animatronic figures, which include Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica accompanied by her brick belt cupcake, Roxanne Wolf, and of course, Monty Gator. There's also Gregory and Vanessa with her white bunny costume. I also created some brick belt characters which include Music Man, which looks absolutely terrifying, and a few staff bots which include the regular versions, a night bot with a more rundown and rusty look, and the best figure has got to be Jacked Bot, who is somehow able to lift two 200 pound bars at the same time. Here's the game plan. The pizza plex is going to be 48 studs in size, and include the atrium and six smaller sections, which will include places such as Bonnie Bowl, Monty Golf, Roxy Raceway, and even Chica's Bakery. For the main section, I included a checkered floor with some transparent tiles and grill pieces to add some texture and colour. Then left a few spaces so I can add the tables later on. Moving to the main stage, I started off by adding some black plates with some tiles around the edges. Then created a wall section featuring some multicolored lights and introduced some angles to make it a bit more interesting. Then of course I need to add the actual platforms and place four of these builds which showcase each of their characters. Lastly I built four tables with a bright blue and red color scheme and some clear plates to create a floating effect. Bonnie Bowl has got to be one of my favorite locations in the game and it's going to be a challenge to incorporate all of the details in such a small space. I started off by tiling over the floor including some tan and blue tiles, with some spaces in between to represent the two lanes. I then created a cover at the back and some walls which use a sideways building technique to add some interesting angles to the exterior and two signs in the interior. Of course, no bowling alley is complete without pins and balls, so I built five pins for each lane and added various bowling balls to the rack. Lastly, I added a few minifigures who can compete against each other for the highest score. In the game, Monty Golf has a vibrant green color scheme, so I started by adding some bright green plates, then created the outlines for the golf lanes, adding some trans blue tiles to represent a river, and placing a structure on top. For the second lane, I built a small ramp at the bottom, and a place for the crocodile. Now they can both compete in a game of golf. Moving to the other side, let's start with the daycare section. So I tiled over the floor, adding some blue and green triangular tiles to create a pattern effect. I then added a yellow slide with a ball pit filled with studs where a minifigure can slide down. After that, I constructed two wall sections, adding some clouds, rainbows, and the spot where Sun and Moon overlooks the daycare, which definitely isn't creepy at all. One of the coolest locations in Security Breach has got to be Phaser Blast. With its dark color scheme and flashing neon lights, I wanted to make this section as dark as possible, so I covered the floor in black tiles, leaving a couple spots for some builds. I then added in some raised platforms going up to this outpost, where players can shoot down to their enemies below, and I also added a flag in the center. Lastly, I built these three wall sections, which use some bright colors and sideways building techniques to add some more detail. Now that the main section has been completed, it's time to move to the back and finish the build. Starting off with Chica's Bakery, I decided to go with the bright white color schemes, so I tiled over the floor, then added some wall sections which use some large panel pieces. At the back, I added a kitchen section, which features a sink, a stove, and a large counter counter which can fit a few trays of cupcakes. I then created a display counter and a seating area with two tables and four pink chairs. Lastly, I added a build for an ATM so people can pay for their cupcakes. I have to say this section looks amazing. For Roxy Raceway, I created a small racetrack with some rounded corners and a wall at the back to match. It definitely needs some more detail, so I added in some rock structures with plates and slopes and added a cactus to add some more colour to the build. I actually need some go-karts for the track. So I created these two builds featuring blue and red color schemes and added them on. Now that all of the sections have been completed, I created a build for the entrance, which incorporates interesting angles and sideways building techniques to give it a futuristic look. One of the most requested locations is Pirate's Cove from the original game, but it also made a brief appearance in the movie. To create this model, I decided to go with an 8x8 base with a rounded corner, which features some old wooden flooring above, and the walls use some grey bricks with some red 
red stripes and a checkered pattern throughout. Then I added a few pirate themed details, like a printed map, a sword, and a large steering wheel at the back. Lastly, I added a purple curtain with some stars and Foxy to finish off the build. For the final build, which is of course a scooper, I started off with a base by tiling it over and adding some mechanical pieces throughout. Then I built the wall section which uses some hinges to create a dynamic look. And for the scooper machine, I created a black mechanical arm with a bucket attached on the end. Lastly, I placed a chair so Mike can relax after a long day of work. I had a great time recreating security breach in LEGO. I think the pizza plex turned out amazingly well, and the scooper and pirate's cove look great. Anyways, make sure to subscribe for some more videos.